Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Arsenal and these are the three players who could leave Arsenal this summer. Now, I'm not going to talk about the ones who already left like Lacazette and I'm not going to talk about the ones who I definitely expect to leave like Torreira and Guendouzi. Those are three players who could end up leaving and um, some of you might actually expect to stay. So those are the three players I am going to be focusing on. And let's get straight into it. The first one is Band Leno. Now, we already know we've signed a backup goalkeeper in Matt Turner. Matt Turner has just joined Arsenal. He, we, was, we actually signed him in January, but he's going to join us as a backup goalkeeper. We have young goalkeepers like Carl Hein and um, Okonko and Ramsdale. You definitely expect him to, de to be the first choice goalkeeper next season. I'd be very surprised if Leno became the first choice goalkeeper again. That would be that would be crazy. This is the World Cup here. The World Cup is in November and December. Um, Noya is uh, approaching his um, later stages of his career. So can this be an opportunity for Leno to take over at least for the last two, three years? He's only 30 years of age. We've seen players like Buffon playing until they're like, I don't know, 60, 70 years of age. So that could be a great um, great thing for Leno if uh, Neuer does retire. So for Ban Leno, considering we've signed another goalkeeper, considering the World Cup is approaching, and I do believe he's too good to be a number two, I do think he'll end up leaving. I don't see him staying at Arsenal. Yes, we do have the Europa League and the FA Cup, and next season we allowed five subs and all that, all those um, arguments. But yes, he can still get like 15 games for Arsenal, but I do think he wants to play like more than 20 games at least. The World Cup, uh, we play 15 games in the Premier League before the players leave for the World Cup. So if he was at a team like, um, let's say, Brighton, and he played those 15 games plus another couple of um, um, Carabao Cup games, that would be enough to suggest maybe the, to actually show the German coach um, something and for him to get picked. So Bandland is the first goalkeeper or the first player I expect to leave Arsenal this summer. The second one is Rob Holding. Now, Rob Holding, Rob Holding has been here for a long while. He's, he's still 26 years of age, though, but it feels like he's been here for 10 years. But here's something about Rob Holding. He's been at Arsenal for six seasons but he's only ever played more than 20 games once. That was in the 2020-2021 season where he played next to Gabriel for more than 30 games. That's the only season where he played um, like nearly or more than 20 games. In the other seasons, he's played eight games, he's played nine games, he's played 10 games for an entirety of a season. He's never been the first choice. He's been backup to players like Mustafi. I mean, being a backup to Mustafi shows you something. He's been a backup to players like Socrates, He's never been the first choice option for Arsenal. And surely being 26 years of age, he needs to move somewhere else where he's guaranteed first, choice, uh, first team football. There's other teams that would take him and he'll definitely play. Like Southampton, is, if he goes there as a centre-back, he'll definitely play. If he goes to teams like Crystal Palace, maybe play next to a Mark Gay or something. If he goes to these promoted teams like Fulham, he'll definitely play. You saw how Chambers did at Fulham. Um, you saw how Niles has done like all these loan spells. You might get opportunities. Look at Nelson at final, went all the way to a final. You never know. But being at Arsenal for six years and only playing more than 20 games once, that, that is saying something. And um, considering you already have Gabriel, Ben White, Saliba, Tommy Asu can play as a centre back, we might end up signing another one. I can't see him playing. Even though we do have a lot of competitions next season, I really want us to win that um, Europa League. I don't I just I don't want us to approach that Europa League like, you know, yeah, second team, let's just win uh, with the second team. No, I want us to finally win the Europa League. So I want a strong team in that one. Even if you play with Martinelli in the league and Smith in the Europa League, I want a strong team in that competition. So Rob Holding is the second player I'm expecting to leave. If he goes to teams like Brighton and Crystal Palace, it would be good for him. The third player that many of you might expect to stay, but I actually wouldn't be surprised if he left, is Nicolas Pepe. There's a lot of reasons for him, but the, the first thing you need to hear about Nicolas Pepe, he was at Lille for two seasons. In those two seasons, he played 36 games and then 38. All 38 games in a season. He only missed two league games in those two campaigns. He scored 35 goals. 35 goals in those two seasons. At Arsenal, he's been here for three seasons and he's only scored 16 goals in the league. We are talking about the league. 16 goals in three seasons at Lille, 35 goals in two seasons. Now, fair enough. He's not, he's not always played um, every single game for Arsenal, but for those who say he's never gotten a chance, Nicolas Pepe has played more than 100 games for Arsenal. He's definitely gotten a chance. He's definitely gotten a chance. I don't think we can just say that he's never been given a chance. 
He's play, he's played games. If you put all the competitions together, he's played a lot of games for Arsenal. So you've had enough um, data to actually judge him at Arsenal. You've had enough data. Um, in his first campaign, I think he played 31 games. The next one, he played like 27. Last season, I definitely do agree, did not have enough opportunities. I definitely do agree with that. He definitely did not have enough opportunities. But let's be honest. If he wasn't signed for 72 million pounds, I think you'd already have gotten rid of him a long time ago. I think the only reason he's here is because we signed him for 72 million pounds and you don't want to go at, uh, on a loss. Because right now, the most we can get for him is like 20 million pounds, according to me. And that would be a loss of more than 50 million pounds. I think that is why we are keeping him hoping he'll come, um, he'll, he'll gain his form. But considering he got a new agent and all that, I would not be surprised if he left. Another thing is we have Gabriel Martinelli, Saka, Smith Rowe. We've signed Marquinhos as well. We've been linked to players like Nabri and Rafinha. That could only mean they'll play in that right side and Pepe might not play. So I'm very, very um, wide for Nicolas Pepe. Um, would I want him to stay? I don't think so, man. I don't think so. I feel like there's other players better than him. He's not the only player who's um, had a hard time at Arsenal. He's not the worst player who's played for Arsenal, but I'm not saying that. But we've seen players like Shama coming from France and struggling. Guendouzi came from there, only played like a season and then Atta got rid of him. That's another thing. Does Atta really like him? I don't think so. And he's getting rid of all the Emery players and some of the Wenger players. He's building his own team, so understandable. And Pepe is not part of um, his own team. The likes of Saliba are not part of his own team. So he wants his own guys. And if he signs like six players this summer, that's a full Atta and Edu team. So that's going to be very, very interesting. But um, those are the three players I expect um, to leave. Ban Leno, Rob Holding, and Nicolas Pepe. Now, I would not be surprised if um, we got rid of players like Bellerin, as I said, Maitland Niles, Cedric Suarez, Tavares on loan. There's a lot who could leave, but those are the three that I do expect. Let me know which ones of this, uh, which of these players you'd keep and which ones you'd get rid of. Thank you for watching and I'll catch up with you guys on the next one.